welcome back our dear viewers as we have been watching this report about Uzbekistan. It came in light of the current uh, or the recent visit by the Uzbek president to Egypt and his meetings with President Abdel Fattah Sisi. How do you see, uh, Mr. Amr, the significance of such a visit by the Uzbek president uh, to Egypt and uh, indeed the many a memorandum of understanding uh, were signed during the visit. It's a very important and significant uh, oh. visit, pay, paid, of course, by Mr. President of Uzbekistan, Mr. Uh, Merdayev, Shaukat Merdayev, oh. uh, which was uh, a, a, a new phase or a new oh. step. Afterwards, the, uh, the, the, the visit paid by Mr. President of oh. uh, Sisi about uh, five years ago. Yeah. We are completing what we have started, uh, not just by this uh, visit, but also as a strategic, uh, the new uh, strategic diploma diploma diplomacy of Egypt, yes. which is strengthening ties with um, nations of the East, mm. where they are uh, most relative to our uh, own civilization. Mm. We have the, the most ancient civilization, and we have yes. the most stronger ties with uh, nations uh, from Central Asia, like Uzbekistan, of course, mm. we have this uh, common understanding, we have this common uh, views towards life. Mm. Uh, and we are uh, not only just building this uh, strong relations with uh, a nation and a country like Uzbekistan, we are building stronger re relations with all the Eastern countries, like uh, India, like China, mm. like uh, Tajikistan. Mm. All of those countries are main supporters to, to Egypt and we are supporting back their, uh, or, or we having the, the same uh, concept and the same horizon of uh, mutual understandings mm -hmm. towards too many issues mm -hmm. uh, on the international arena. Especially mm -hmm. we're talking about uh, the crisis uh, in, uh, in Ukraine, mm -hmm. uh, the, the military, the Russian military operation in Ukraine. Mm. We have the same understanding. We have sh we have shared the mm. same hopes that peace and, uh, and stability would be regained again in this territory, this very vital and important territory Indeed. in the region. Also, we are leading by by all meanings of the words, <laughs> leading the efforts mm. to uh, to uh, to uh, to start serious uh, uh, um, may, meaning of understanding and um, conciliation between uh, the Russians and the, and the West mm. to, to, to regain peace again. With the initial yes, uh, I will be diverting here uh, uh, for, for a second from uh, the, the egyptian Uzbek relations. And uh, since you have mentioned here the Russian-Ukrainian crisis, we have uh, seen some developments recently and we have seen the withdrawal of um, uh, Russia from the START Treaty Start as treaty. well. And how do you see its repercussion on the whole political scene worldwide, uh, Dr. Amr? Well, that's a uh, very important and serious step yes, indeed. And, uh, and a st uh, strong decision made by uh, Mr. Putin, of course. Yes. It's, it's a reaction to an action already taken yes. from the West. Mm. Each, and, each and every action has mm. uh, a reaction. And this is the, the, the uh, we didn't expect it, of course. And mm. it made uh, uh, like they, they have thrown a, f a fireball to, to the Americans yes. and, the, uh, and the West. But in the meantime, uh, we can never forget and or neglect there are peace uh, efforts. There are an, there is an, uh, an, uh, a Chinese initiative mm. to uh, regain stability and peace in the region. Yes. In, the, in, the centra, in Central Asia. Central Asia is a very important mm. uh, spot in this world. Mm. The same spot we are leading, we have started the first true initiative that was accepted by both sides, mm. by Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Yes. And also, besides this, we are uh, establishing a stronger ties economically, mm. uh, politically, milita militarily, with our uh, counterparts in the region. Mm. We're talking about Russia, we're talking about China, we're, we're talking about India, now, mm -hmm. and now we're talking about Uzbekistan. Yes. 
all of those countries all around this uh, ancient project that uh, that uh, very huge project that was uh, accomplished uh, 3000 years ago it's it's called the the the, the road the silk road yes yes we ha we have uh, maintaining uh, to to achieve our own uh, point of view to strengthen this cooperation between the eastern countries from china to egypt mm. and to all over the world not just for the east for the whole world yes. through this very vital uh, path this this very vital uh, project is revived right now uh, afterwards uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, since uh, seven, six or seven years right afterwards the revolution of Ju june 30 this is a very significant uh, strategy and can gather all of the, the eastern powers mm. all around one project and one goal yes uh, dr amro um, the memorandum of understanding that was signed uh, between egypt and uzbekistan during the visit by the uh, president of uzbekistan to egypt these agreements can achieve the interests of the peoples of two countries from your point of view we have the same hopes and we have suffered from, this, from issues like terrorism. We are together yeah. you know, on so many uh, perspectives. Mm. And we can share our hopes, our, uh, our own um, way of uh, culture. Mm. And of course, that comes and can be strengthened with uh, the economical uh, cooperation. Indeed. In this, uh, in this field, we, ha we have too many fields mm. in, 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 in Egypt. Yeah. Egypt is the heart of Africa and the, and the Middle East and the Middle uh, Arabic world. In the middle of the Arabic world, we, are, uh, ha we have ha achieved uh, mega projects that can, w uh, th that can attract uh, investors from the, from the whole oh. world, oh. from the East and from the West. And of course, we are welcoming and we have already agreed on a very important uh, agreements yeah. with Uzbekistan with uh, more than one billion dollars investments in yes. Egypt this is a very uh, important mm. and we are welcoming the Uzbek uh, people the Uzbek nation as mm. terrorism we we know that we share the same history that we have uh, also the same uh, touristic uh, interests mm. in Uzbekistan there is of course uh, touristic monuments and tr touristic uh, uh, significant uh, um, temples and yes. uh, heritage. cultures Indeed. and heritage of course mm. we share the same views we can exchange uh, prosperity we can exchange our uh, mm. best interests for the good of the, of the two nations yes to what extent did this visit uh, contribute to closer comprehensive uh, cooperation and common interest and develop the base for a more bilateral agreement between both uh, countries and peoples this goes on in the same uh, uh, economical strategy okay. that we have started and initiated mm. for the first time egypt is a lending hand to both east and the west yes we are uh, making this uh, fine path between uh, east and the west and we uh, we are sharing uh, our best interest with both wings of the world mm. that's how we can build our own uh, economy with uh, with our own efforts economical efforts already accomplished through greater and mega projects and patriotic projects mm -hmm. built not, not just for this uh, generation but for generations to come mm. and also we can share the same uh, best interests and the same uh, goals with other nations especially when they are friendly especially when we have uh, the same uh, the same uh, cultural uh, um, point of views and, uh, and heritage we need Mm. more uh, investments and we need we need to make more communications with the world based on our own uh, solid and strong uh, identity as an Egyptian yes. as an Egyptian nation 
Yes. How can we actually benefit uh, from Uzbekistan expertise in the field of agriculture and exchange advanced experience between the two uh, countries? Well, Central a all of Central Asia is a, a large field for, uh, for uh, agricultural Indeed. projects mm. since thousands of, year, thousands yes. of years. I believe that they need uh, to invest in Egypt because uh, I believe that, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, there are, uh, uh, they have this ancient uh, need communicate with the Egyptian nation and of course we they have the expertise for, and, and experts and experiments mm. through agriculture and uh, and uh, industrial projects mm. that, that can be invested and established mm. in Egypt uh, also we we still are in uh, the, 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 the safe zone of water supplies they are suffering right now in Asia and in Europe. They are suffering now from drying up the, of the, mm. the, the water supplies. We, we are still in the safe zone. And uh, God's willing, we g are going to be always uh, in the safe uh, zone. Yes. Uh, yesterday, uh, President uh, Sisi um, uh, congratulated the uh, Saudi King, uh, uh, King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman on the occasion of the Saudi Foundation Day. Uh, how do you see this um, move and how do you evaluate here the Egyptian-Saudi relations? I believe this is, of course, uh, diplomatic and brotherly uh, action by Indeed. Mr. President Abdel Fattah. Mm. He's too, uh, his uh, friend and brother mm. in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Also, we need to tackle on some very important and vital points here. The, Arabic, the Egyptian Arabic uh, relations are strategic mm. and it's a, it's a lifetime relations. We can never forget this. We can never allow any uh, influences, especially by, the, by this unit's existence, to try to poison our relations. I believe that the past uh, few months, this unit's existence tried hard to poison our relations with our own brothers in the Gulf and other countries even in Sudan, mm -hmm. in, in Morocco, and in, uh, in other countries. Mm -hmm. We need to uh, always to gather on the same aspect. Who is our friend and who is our enemy? Who is our, who is our uh, uh, who, the, who, who are the powers that are trying to mm -hmm. divide us, to, to control? We can never allow this, not anymore. We are now. Afterwards, again, after the, the, the June 30 revolution, we have changed the face of, uh, of Gulf countries. Mm. We have saved all of the Arabic region from the, from the dangers uh, of the terroristic group. Mm. And this is an action that could, could, have, could have never be accomplished without the Egyptian leadership and the Egyptian army. Of course. Uh, also, sir, Egypt is continuing to send aid. Uh, to uh, the uh, devastated uh, people in both Turkey uh, and Syria after in the repercussions of the devastating earthquakes that took place in uh, both countries with the fatalities exceeding 45,000 people. How do you see the importance of such move and the importance of sending aid to, to the people in both Turkey and Syria? All right, we, of course. Let, them, uh, let us pay our condolences of for the, 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 the victims, the families in both Syria and Turkey. Yes. And of course, this is a very important mm -hmm. and significant uh, step. We are now strong enough to give aids to other countries who need help, yeah. who need help. We're talking about Turkey. We are dealing with the most civilized way <laughs> toward the t Turkish yes. people, especially. Look what, how we were uh, dealing with each, with each other for uh, the past 10 years. Yes. And now we are dealing with the Turkish, na uh, Turkish nation as, as a friendly nation. Indeed. This re represents how civilized Egypt is. And also, hmm. let me tackle on very something important here. The new uh, Arish port uh, that, was, uh, that is, is still... Uh, under uh, construction and already uh, some of uh, great part of it is already uh, accomplished yeah. 
is a, a main point of sending aids, whether to Syria, our brothers in, uh, in Syria, mm. or our neighbors in Turkey. Of course. That means a lot. That port had made a true earthquake to the heart of, uh, of uh, this unit's existence because it's a very significant port that can help our gas trade with Europe. And as Egypt now is one of the most important suppliers for Europe mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, for gas. Mm -hmm. And also, it gives us control and influence in, uh, in East uh, Mediterranean. Mm. I believe that... Uh, the, 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 the main target of uh, Israel right now is to, to, uh, to try to, to, fee, uh, to, to take any action against this, uh, uh, this uh, greater uh, project uh, accomplished in Egypt, which represents that how victorious we have accomplished our war uh, against terrorism, and we have already triumphed in this mm. war. Yes. And second, we are expanding our development projects to the last centimeter of our borders mm -hmm. right uh, for the good of, of the Sinai and uh, the, the Egyptian Sinai, people in Sinai right right to the last centimeter to the borders with this unit's existence. Mm -hmm. Uh, moving on to another issue, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli inaugurated on Wednesday the country's first sports expo, Egypt 2023, that is being held from the 22nd till the 24th of February at El Manara International Convention Center in New Cairo. Sir, what is the importance of the exhibition as it is the largest annual sports fair and conference in the whole of the Middle East region? Well, if, of course, Egypt is the, the, the main uh, leader of uh, sports in uh, the Arabic region and in, and in Africa, historically and mm. uh, by all means. Yes. And such an action should, should represent how we take care of our youth and tr trying to make it even better for our uh, sportsmen and sports uh, women mm. uh, to a better future uh, through our own um, such uh, import, important projects for the use, for the, for the nations, and for cooperation with other, with other nations uh, in the Arabic region and in Africa. Mm. What is the importance of the Expo for the physical and psychological well-being of the um, uh, sports um, players in the Arab world? I believe that uh, we need to change uh, the, the mentality mm. of, the, of the new generation into the, 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 the past and the, the, that, um, that items of how really sport is all about. Mm. It's about fair competition mm. and about uh, the spirit uh, of a brotherhood uh, among nations, mm. not uh, hostility. This is very important. We can, of course, support with such uh, a summit uh, with, the uh, with the expo uh, yes. sports with our uh, building our nation's uh, relations with, uh, with to the east and to the west mm. to what extent this uh, expo and other events could be an opportunity to exchange the experience to exchange the, the ideas and to have uh, to adapt new methods uh, for uh, the world of sports and for having new athletes uh, to uh, give more opportunities to the young Egyptians to be exposed to the whole world. To what extent these exhibitions could be representing a real opportunity for a best sports life for uh, Egypt and Egyptians as well as the Arabs? The, the Egyptian uh, youth and the Egyptian uh, generations, we have uh, strong uh, potentials, historical, yes. and uh, we need to develop those mm. potentials by communicating with other world, uh, 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 what they have, the, the new thoughts, the new visions, uh, or the, the new technologies, and how to build uh, an mm. Mr. President, Abdel Fattah is saying on a very important we need to, to use by, for youth, for yes. people. This uh, spiritual uh, spirit is very important it, for uh, the whole nation to, to go on and mm. on. Uh, we can never build a generation without a strong 
uh, bodies and uh, athletic bodies. Indeed, and with this uh, positive note, we come to the end of this uh, segment in our program. I would like to thank so much uh, our dear guest, uh, Dr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political analyst. Thank you so much uh, for you. being with us thank and you for, for your me. precious input. Always a pleasure, sir. And now, our dear viewers, we move to the second segment in our our show today, Gadina Hussain. We will go short break and after that we'll be back to continue our program, so stay tuned.